fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. The masked rider of the plains was one of the great figures in the early history of the western United States. Fearless in the cause of justice, he fought crime and criminals in the new territory. No one ever knew his name, but no man did more to bring law and order to the frontier, and the memory of his deeds will remain as long as the memory of the early west itself. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! There's going to be trouble at Mortonville. We've got to hurry. Hello, Silver. How are As our story opens, two men are riding at breakneck speed across a level section of prairie land. Get up there! Get up! He's gaining on us, Steve! Get up there! Get up, Blaster! How close is he now? I don't know, but he's moving up faster in all places. Throw some lead back at him! Miss Blaster! Can't shoot good at this speed anyhow. We've got to make the bridge. It's our only chance. Who's that masked fella? I don't know. He's sure to catch us. Our horses is wore out. Get up! Get along there! When we make the bridge, what then? We'll be safe there. How do you know? I planned it. There's the bridge. Get up there. Come on, get up there. He's closer now, Blaster. I'll get him. Never mind shooting. we got to get to the bridge. i never seen a faster horse than that one. That white one. Here's the bridge. Don't stop on it. Keep right on going. Right. Come on, horse. Come on there. Come on, get up, boy. 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 Come on. We're across it. We're all right now. But he's still coming. That don't matter now. Oh, oh, there, boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that bridge. Blowed higher than a kite. <laughs> Gosh, Steve. That was the closest shave we ever had. For a minute, I thought you were loco stopping like this. Tennessee, you ought to be glad you tied up with the fellas as smart as me. I don't overlook nothing. What blows the bridge up? Sam done it. Sam Larkin. There he comes now. Yeah. I figured when we robbed that there bank over to Martinsville, we might have to make a run for it. But I thought there weren't any better horses in the world than the ones we're riding. I like to drop dead when I seen that white horse overtaking us. I told Sam to stay by the bridge and watch. If he saw we was being chased, to touch off a blast after we was across. Hey, Steve, I, I done it. You done it just right, Sam. Where's the mask fellow was chasing us? Well, I, I seen the cloud of dust you was kicking up and that rider coming behind it. Yeah? So as soon as you was across the bridge, I touched off the fuse and run for my life. And when I heard the blast, I looked back, and the white horse and the rider weren't nowhere to be seen. Gosh. On the bridge when it went up. I reckon so. That sure is fine. I, I don't reckon there's any sense even hunting for him, is there? <laughs> reckon not. That was an awful big charge of powder I used. Not too big to suit me, though. How did you make out in town? Fine. We cleaned out the bank good and proper. Got the cash in our saddlebags. How much? Ain't got around to counting it yet. 
There's more than 5,000 for each of us. Gosh sake. But you don't get your share of the cash till you finish your part of the scheme, Sam. You can count on me, Steve. You know that. You're to go back to town, see? Yeah. No one there got a good look at us, except in that fellow that got blowed up with a bridge. He's the only one could have described us. And now he can't do it. <laughs> sure not. When you get to town, you tell how you seen two horsemen riding away from town like all get out. And you tried to stop them, ask what was wrong. Yeah? They both drawed guns and shot at you. Most drilled you. Then rid away. Yeah, and then? You won't give the right description. You'll see to it the law is gunning for men that don't look nothing like me in Tennessee. But where'll you boys be? <laughs> That's the best part of the plan. We'll be right back in Martinsville. We told folks we was riding away on a prospecting trip. We'd come back in two or three days, and then we'll go right on as we always have. You sure are slick, Steve. The one place they'd never think of hunting for the bank robbers is right in town. Stick with me, <laughs> fellas, and you'll all be rich. Now, Sam, you stand up over there. What are you going to do? Your story is that men took shots at you. No, no, Steve, don't. The evidence has to bear out the story. You blasted You might have killed me. <laughs> you wasn't in no danger, Sam. I was just coming close, that's all. <laughs> There's a hole through your hat and one through your sleeve. Now, get back to town and tell your yarn. But I won't be able to go back over the bridge. It's down. That's all right. You're right around. It'll take me the rest of the afternoon and tonight to make it. I won't be back in town before morning. Don't get there till afternoon. Say you met us this side of the bridge, Savvy. Yeah. Then you won't be asked nothing about the fellow that was chasing us. Doggone, he thinks of everything. You better say you was knocked down by us, too. Huh? That'll make folks feel more sorry for you. <laughs> you ain't gonna... <laughs> no, I don't reckon I need to knock you down to prove that, Sam. Now you get going. You can camp this side of the ravine tonight and get some sleep. And you'll get to town tomorrow afternoon. I'll do what you say, Steve. You do, and you'll never have to worry about getting caught. As soon as the robin of the bank dies down, I'll have plans made for another job I got in mind. Tonto, the faithful Indian companion of the Lone Ranger, was waiting for the masked man at their camp. When he didn't come at the appointed time, Tonto wondered what could be detaining him. Hours passed by. Night came, and still the mystery rider did not appear. Tonto listened through the night, but there was no familiar shout, no sound of silver-shod hoofs. The Indian kept his vigil until dawn, then saddled his horse. Scout fella, our friend not come. <laughs> We go find him, huh? Him say him go town. Come back camp soon. Him not come back. We we go camp now. Get him up, scout. Late afternoon brought Sam Larkin back to Martinsville. He went directly to the sheriff. Sheriff, Sheriff Potsdam. Hey, why it's Sam Larkin. Where you been, Sam? Uh, I've been having a hard time, that's what. Look at me. Look and see what I run into. What's happened? Two fellas shot at me. I was most killed. See, there's the bullet holes. Look at my head. Land sakes. Who was they, Sam? I don't know who they was, but they knocked me down and shot at me. Which way was they going? That way, heading away from town. It was yesterday I seen them dead rat the luck. Yesterday, then that's... Sam, did you get a good look at them two fellas? I sure did. I Why? I bet them's the two who stuck up the bank. Why? They cleaned it out. Got more than $15,000. No. It's the truth. They was escaping when you seen them. That's what happened. Well, I'll be blasted. What'd they look like? Can you remember them well enough to tell us? I sure enough can. Uh, one of them was sort of heavy set, and the other one was... Never seen nothing like it. 
Them two robbers got away as slick as a whistle. Yes, sir. Well, that one fellow that lit out after him. What of him? Reckon he's the only one got a good sight of him. Maybe he won't be able to say nothing about it. Why? Why? What's up? What's the matter? You heard they went in the direction of the bridge, didn't you? Yeah. Well, some of the boys set out to follow the trail of those three, and they found the bridge blowed up. Blowed up? You say the bridge was blowed up, Kit? Yep, blowed all the smithereens. That's what them two did to keep them being followed. Must be. They know they leave a clean-cut trail. They know they'd be followed. So they blowed up the bridge to stop us. And stop that other fellow was following them. The masked fellow with the pure white horse. Hold his horse silver or something like that. Yeah. Now, barkeep, take a look at this mask. Does it look anything like the one the stranger wore? Oh, going if I don't. Yeah. Where'd you find it? Right close by the bridge that was blowed up. Yeah? I figured at first it had been dropped by one of the thieves. But I reckon it was the other fellows. You, you let me see? The ninja. What are you so interested for? That mask. That that... Well, what's the trouble? That mask of white friend. Huh? Him get caught in blast? I'm afraid that's what happened to him, Injun. But what's it to you? Where'd you come from? Me. Me not talk now. White friend. Mask. Sim. What ailed him, Kit? Huh? He sure looked like he was busted up about things, didn't he? Boys, sure boys. Did. boys. I got a description of them robbers. A description? Sam Larkin seen him. They knocked him down, took shots at him. That's right, boys. I see him, and I got a first-class description of him. I'm Foreman Apostle to scour this here county. They crossed the ravine. I know that much. Then we won't waste no time hunting this side of the ravine. We'll scour the other side. Who wants to help? Then come on. We've been hunting them men since yesterday. Not much chance of finding them now. They had a pretty good start on us. Hey, Sheriff, there comes a couple of riders this way. That's Steve in Tennessee. Oh, sure enough. Well, maybe they've seen them two outlaws. Hi there, Steve! I want to speak to you two hombres. What's the meaning of the posse, Sheriff? Thieves, that's what. What do you mean, thieves? The bank was robbed. Was robbed yesterday. Steve? We thought maybe you and Tennessee had seen them. Uh, yeah, did you? Well, we did see a couple of men, but they didn't look like thieves. What'd they look like? Well, now, let me see. They, uh, well... It was when we was camped that we seen them. They rid right into our camp, passed the time of day, and rid What off. did they look like? Say, Steve, did they have red shirts on? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Saying they did. And, and one of them was heavy set with a black beard, wasn't he? That's right. And the other had a big scar from an old knife wound? Just so. Them was the ones. Now, hold on there. I want you fellas telling me, not Sam telling you. Well, there wasn't much more to tell. What sort of horses did they ride? They, uh, well, they, well, let me think now. Yeah, just like Kit's there. One of them was, and the other one was like Sam's. That's the kind. And, and one of the fellas had two fingers missing. Which two fingers? Sam, Tennessee, which ones? Oh, well, now it was, uh, did you notice Tennessee? Are these here, too. Them's the men, all right. Which way'd they go? Yonder, toward Mariposa. Said they aimed to strike down that way. Mariposa, eh? Oh, uh, how'd you two make on your prospecting trip? Not so bad, Sheriff. Not so bad. We sure are anxious to get back to town now, though. <laughs> there ain't any cafes out in the desert. Sure <laughs> ain't. Well, I'll take care of there ain't too many in town. We sure will, Sheriff. We'll be hoping you get them robbers. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. It's all right, boys. Nothing to worry about. I was afraid the sheriff would catch us giving a different description than the one you gave, Sam. I gave you the point. You're done all right. You coming with us, Larkin? They're coming, Sheriff. When I get back, I'll get my share of the cash, and don't you forget it. We won't. Get up there. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, Please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. After what he'd seen and heard in town, Tonto gave up the search for his masked friend and started back for his camp. As he drew near, he saw the great horse Silver and then the Lone Ranger himself. Tonto raced toward the campfire, dismounted and hurried to clasp his friend's hand. Uh, 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 Tonto's good friend, huh? I knew you were worried, Tonto. 
But I had to keep out of sight until I learned more about their plan. Oh, me heap glad you still lie. Those crooks will pay before we leave here. I don't know what we do, huh? First of all, I'll have to disguise myself. You take mask off? Yes. I'll ride a little ways east from town, then put on other clothes and... Uh, uh-huh. I'll have to have a carpet bag of some sort. Tonto, get them. Very well. Then I'll go into town and see if those three men don't try to contact me. Uh. We'll give them every chance to plan another crooked scheme. And then what do? You'll have to play your part, too. Yeah. There'll be some risk. The sheriff's men may try to capture you. <laughs> Tonto, not afraid. Then listen carefully, and I'll outline a plan. Several days later, a stranger came into town carrying a heavy carpet bag. There were several men sitting in the office of the sheriff when the stranger entered. They all stopped talking to study the new arrival. Sheriff? That's me, stranger. What can I do for you? I'm looking for someone that has a good claim for sale. Yeah, well, I reckon there's plenty of that sort of thing around here. Everyone's got a claim that's willing to sell it. The price is right. Oh, I've got the price all right. Right here. Hmm, kind of dangerous toting it around that way, ain't it? I've never been robbed yet. Don't say you never will be. Better get it in the bank as quick as you can. I heard that your bank was robbed. I'll keep this money right with me. Suit yourself. I'm taking a room at the hotel. If you hear of anyone that wants to sell, send them over to see me. All right, but what? (laughs) Strange, hombre. Never even give his name. I wonder how much he's got. Must be from the East. He don't talk like us fellas. Blame fool, that's what. Dread it, I know the robin of that bank could give this place a bad name. Well, I reckon I'll shove on. Maybe Steve in Tennessee would like to sell that claim they got. Steve, Steve. What is it, Sam? What's up? Come on, get Tennessee. I got something to tell. Tennessee ain't home now. He's rid out of ways. What's going on? Listen. There's a stranger here in town with a whole bag full of money that he hankers to buy a claim with. Yeah? He won't put it in the bank. He's stopping at the hotel. How much he got? I know, but it's a plenty. Listen, we gotta do something to get it. We'll think it over and watch that fella. I'd like to see him. Go on, see him. You can talk about selling your claim. He'd worth a hoot, he'd never buy it. Sure not, but it'd give you the chance to size him up. Yeah, that's so. That's what I'll do. As soon as we get a plan worked out, we'll figure another slick scheme so as we won't never be suspicioned. <laughs> leave it to you, Steve. You bet. Just leave it to me. Yeah, gotta get someone to take the blame, though. We'll find someone. Hey, there's an engine been hanging around here for the past week. That'll be perfect. <laughs> The following evening, Steve, Tennessee, and Sam met in a back room of the cafe on the ground floor of the hotel. There's your drinks, gents. Anything else now? Not now, barkeep. Nothing but this here room to ourselves. Right you are. Now, Tennessee, you're the one that's to go to the stranger's room, being you're the same size as the engine we got in mind. Yep. I told that engine he could earn himself some easy money this evening. He's right outside the window there waiting. Good enough. It'll be the word of the three of us again, one redskin. You put on this jacket and talk engine like when you throw your gun on that fella, Savvy. I got it all straight. You went over it before. Mm, good enough. I'll get his jacket. Hey, engine. Uh-huh. Now, let's take your jacket. Uh-huh. Here. Here, jacket. All right. Now, get this. My part is going to use it to play a joke, Savvy. Oh? Uh-huh. Here, Tennessee. Put this jacket on. Sure. Now, listen, Engine. He's climbing to the second floor by way of the rear. When he comes down, he'll give you your jacket and the cash. Get started now, Tennessee. I'm going. Let me through that, Steve. What me do next? Wait right here till he comes down. Then get aboard your horse and travel fast. Mm, Me go plenty fast. C. 
Jesse went to the room on the second floor and in the darkness held a gun on the tall stranger. You keep still or me shoot. What is this, Indian? A robbery? That what? Me take bag. Very well. Take it. Take it, but don't shoot. You keep face to wall. Tennessee backed out of the window and down the side of the house, using the notched corner logs for a foothold. Then he hurried to the window of the rear room where his friends were waiting. I got it. Here. <laughs> Here's your jacket. Uh -huh. And here's the money we promised. Now start out and travel fast. Get going. Get him up, Scout. Hey, Steve. Here, take this carpet bag. I got it. Now give me a hand. That's it. I'm in room. I'm in room. <laughs> there he is, boys. Start shooting. There he goes. There goes the redskin. What's the shooting? An engine and a horse. He went that way. Come right past that window. And we see a carpet bag in his hands, too. Boys, get going. Maybe he's the one that robbed the bank. That's your man, all right. All three of us seen him. Come on, boys. Hop out the window, Sheriff. Get the horse to sundown. Right. Be right with you. Get that redskin. He robbed me. Let me take a horse. You think anyone's handy, stranger? This is your party. Good luck. Good luck, boys. Good luck to you, Sheriff. Hope you bring him back. Good luck. Bring him back, Good Sheriff. <laughs> That's pretty slick work, eh, boys? Slick as a pig's ear, Steve. <laughs> Worked out just so. Let the engine escape and we're in the clear. Ain't a man alive won't think he's the crook. That's how I got it figured, Tennessee. But what if the redskin gets caught, Steve? What'll happen then? Shucks. Let him get caught. Who is there to believe his story? They'll all think he's hid the cash somewhere. <laughs> just so. We ain't a thing to worry about, Tennessee. Good enough. Uh, just one thing more, Steve. We want to be sure and get this carpet bag hidden with the other cash before the riders come back this way. Wait a minute. Let's split the cash here. We ain't the time. The sheriff and them other fellows may get that engine and come back here. All right, come on. Let's go. Right what sort of a horse that redskin riding? He's traveling hard. Uh, look at him now. He's slowing up. By Ginger Sheriff, he's drawn his horse right down to a stop. Maybe it's a trick of some sort. Where's that stranger with the borrowed horse? He's right behind. No, he ain't. He ain't with us. Hold on a second. Oh, 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 there. oh, oh there. I don't see that stranger. Well, me neither. Now what's happened to him? The redskin stopped up ahead. Wonder if he think us to drill us. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I Well, we're finding out. Get up. Come on, get up. You're covered, Redskin. Make a fast move and we fire. We're coming, and don't think we won't shoot to kill. Stand right where you are now. Come here, wait. You not want me. No, we don't, eh? Well, there's room for argument about that. Oh, there. Get his weapons, kid. Yeah. Me not right, fellow. Come on, tell over. That voice. He's riding down here. That's the voice. Him, good friend. Get ready to shoot. Come on, boy. Hold the gun by yourself. Up the Sam Hill. Oh, hold the gun. Oh, Who are you? The voice is the same, but that white horse. That ain't the one he... We got you covered like the redskin. Now you Suppose tell Suppose you listen to me first. Sheriff, I changed my clothes and took the disguise off my face. Clothes? Disguise? I left your horse with the clothes I discarded. Then you're the one who... Who borrowed a horse, also the one who had that carpet you bag. You mean to say You that don't to... want that Indian. No. Me not right, man. Me help fix trap. Now, see here, if you ain't the right one, who the is? The men you want are the ones who stole that bag. Yeah? And if you'll come with me, I'll lead you to them. How do we know you're on the level? Maybe it's just a trick to free the redskins. Come on, follow me. Hey, oh, see you. Oh, 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 oh. Steve, Sam, and Tennessee went on foot to their hideout. When they reached the shack, Steve lighted a candle. Now we'll open our new carpet bag and see what's inside. Maybe a few more thousands of dollars, eh, Steve? Here's <laughs> hoping. <laughs> It'll be a funny one if the engine got shot. He couldn't even say he wasn't a thief then. There's a blame good chance of his being shot, too. Sheriff's awful sore about stealing around here. Yeah. Hurry up, Steve. Get that bag open. Let's see what she holds. I'm getting it. There. I'll dump it on the floor and we'll all count it. Hey, what's that? That ain't money. Bundles or something. Cut that string. I can bust it. What sort of skin game is this? Nothing but blank paper. We're tricked. We're double cross. Who done it? See here, Tennessee. Did you do this to double cross us? No, of course I didn't. Well, where's that gent's money? There never was money. Well, well, I don't see three of you. The sheriff. Leave from Hannah. That masked fellow chased us through the bridge. He ain't dead. Take the guns, kid. You're turn right. And that's the answer. What's the idea? It's a frame up. No frame up about it, you ornery thieves. 
Where's that bank money? We, we, we oh, don't, it. don't shoot. Don't shoot. I'll tell. Where's it at? Under that bunk there. Take a look, Tit. Right. I'll see if he's telling the truth. What's it all mean? Here's the money. Means you three Mavericks are headed for jail. That's what. Listen, that engine, he's a... <laughs> You plenty big fool. No <laughs> use, men. You're finished. That voice. The clothes ain't the same, but the voice is. Yeah, he's the stranger, all right. When you blowed the bridge up, he ducked for cover. And let you think the only man that knowed you was dead. But, but... I knew there was no way to prove you men guilty unless we could find the money. So I invited another robbery. You fell into the trap nicely. When we followed your trail, you led us to your hiding place. I first got suspicious of you two when Sam was telling you how to describe the fellas that were supposed to have stole the money. You blame fool you, Sam. I planned with that fella. I was right outside your room when you was talking to the engine. Well, we got the bank money and the crooks. You better take that blame carpet bag, too, and make a clean sweep of it. I'll take that. And the fancy dude clothes I lent that masked rider. You framed us, Sheriff. It was an ornery trick. You tricked us. <laughs> Gents, when critters bust laws, I'm willing to try any tricks to get them. Stranger, let me say this. Yes, yeah, Sheriff? Anytime you'll unmask and let folks see who you really are... Yes? Well, I'll step right out of office and give you my job. Thanks, Sheriff, but not just yet. Come, Tonto. Uh, uh, oh. We ride together again. Uh. Get them three tied. Come on, you coyote. It's a blame good night's work, that mask rider done. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.